So let's just take a journey uh, together to a time and place in which science education for high school students in Romania was just about going to school every day, uh, writing on countless notebooks a lot of information, taking tests and earning grades. In 2016, three years ago in Romania, uh, smart, brilliant kids with a lot of ideas and with an eagerness to be engaged in science uh, had no access to STEM education. So out of the 70, uh, 700,000 students uh, from Romania, there was no actual STEM education program uh, for them. Uh, no teamwork. Uh, no concept of community, and basically no access to applied science uh, initiatives. So we accepted the challenge and we said, okay, uh, as an NGO, uh, at the basis of every, uh, every uh, thriving society, you have education and science. And we looked into the PISA uh, test done in 2015, uh, showing that Romania ranked 48th uh, out of uh, 70 countries uh, in the study in terms of skills and knowledge that 15-year-old students had in science, reading, and math. And uh, actually, in terms of science, we ranked last uh, in the EU. So let's add to our journey in science education just one idea. So the idea we had as an NGO uh, was to bring STEM education and student robotics into this uh, formula. Uh, why robotics and STEM? Uh, because it's a wonderful tool for students to explore, uh, to learn more about science, to know more about themselves while uh, working with others, learning by doing, and uh, working in a team. So actually, in a three years uh, time span, uh, we've reached now 12% of the high schools in Romania with what? With robotics. It all started when we learned about a program done in the US 30 years ago. It was founded by an inventor called Dean Kamen. And we talked to him and said, three years ago, we want to bring this program in Romania. And he gave us the license. Uh, and uh, uh, he said, OK, in your first year, you can start from 10 teams. But we actually did a tour inside Romania uh, to test kids' interest in robotics and STEM. And the interest was so huge that we ended up in our first year of the program with 54 teams, 800 students uh, wanting to attend the program. And actually, uh, for us in an NGO, a daunting challenge of raising half a million euros uh, to actually equip the partner schools and the high schools with the robotics kits and the tools uh, so that these robotics uh, teams could, could exist. We accepted that challenge. Uh, we managed to raise uh, the funds uh, in our first year through partnerships, private partnerships. We had uh, national companies contribute and local partnerships who are proud to support the high schools from, uh, from their regions. And we donated to schools the kits, the 3D printers, and uh, the set of tools the kids needed to, to build this type of robots. And now in 12% of the high schools, there is at least one robot, there is at least one 3D printer that these high school students can work with. So the impact uh, along these years says that now, three years later, we have 4,000 students uh, engaged in this STEM education program. And we have <coughs> 500 mentors involved, which are actually teachers from their school who volunteer and mentor these kids after the school program. Hundreds uh, of volunteers. And I'm excited to share that now we, uh, Romania, after the PISA uh, test uh, I've, sh uh, I've shared before, we are now ranked third in the world with the most number of first tech challenge teams after the US and China. We have won uh, five gold medals at the Robotics Olympics uh, last year. And um, I want to show you a spirit of the championship uh, we do every year. We do uh, regionals, uh, summer schools, uh, workshops even in theater. And there's a short video from our championship that catches the, the vibe of the championship.
Yeah. We'll stop it there. Thank you very much, Gabriella. Thank you.